Hello everyone, welcome back again. My name is Jesse and in this wonderful video, we're trying to do something totally different. So today we'll not be discussing, we'll not be doing any tutorial, but we'll be doing a discussion, right? About the seven days of programming. So the seven days of programming. So programming is a very, very essential skill that you and I should learn. So it's the next generation literacy, right? You should, everybody should know how to program. Okay, so now let's talk about this seven days of programming. So the seven days of programming has to do with all the various fails and opportunities and the benefit that you can gain and gather in programming when you learn how to program. So let's see the first D for programming is the field of design, right? That is a whole broad field. So the field of design has to do with graphic design, US UI design, web design, and then as well as design systems, architectures, workflows, all of these things has to do with design right very very interesting for it's a very very broad food but sometimes i do confuse web design and then web development some people put it put it together other people separate it but anyhow you take it is it's interesting so that is a very very broad for the very very interesting field which makes your product interesting and then user friendly now let's move on to the next field of programming the seven days the next day is development so development has to do with everything too it has to do with game development software development mobile development web development all of them together so development is a very very broad field and every language can be used for any of these things right almost all the languages can be used for development so if you want to do a venture into web design you have or and web development you have to go with html css javascript you want to go into software de development almost all the languages can be used to create any kind of software and you also have a mobile there for we have java Objective c swift even including JavaScript and, and you have for, for game development, you have several programming languages like C and all of this, C sharp and all of this programming language. So the field of development is a very interesting field. And then they are also being paid well and it's a very interesting field. It has a lot of things. You have developers, you have engineers, you have architects, all of them are still under the field of development. Now you have you know about design, we know about development. So let's move on to the next field, this next D of programming, which is databases. So how do you store your data? How do you manage your data? So that is where database engineering comes inside, database development comes inside. So you have people that architect database, they structure database, so they are do that to work with databases. So there are several forms of working with database. That is where you're supposed to learn about SQL, Hive, Hadoop, GraphQL, and all of these different tools and then resources to enable you to administer and then work in a database field so that is a third d of programming so now let's check the next d of programming which is devops so devops formally it has to do with system administration but now it has advanced more beyond system administration it's a whole broad field consists of two different fields combined together so we have developers and we have operators right so that, that has to do with continuous integration, CI, CD. Then there are several languages that you can use to enable you to master DevOps, which include Go, very, very useful when you're trying to do work with DevOps. We have Python, also very useful. We have uh, Java, we have several tools. So there are several things that you have to know when you're trying to work with DevOps. The basic things you have to know is that CI, CD, you also have to know how to do work with Docker, or containers as well as kubernetes and then chef and then most of the hashicorp tools so hashicorp is a very very interesting company that they build a lot of tools for devops so there are several tools you can use for devops and devops also pay very well so we have now we have cloud devops we have edge devops and then we have several forms of devops so that is the fourth d of programming now let's move on to the next d of programming which is data science well wow, that's a favorite for everybody nowadays so data science is a very broad field and it's very very broad now we have the data we are able to administer the data able to connect stuff together everything is working but how are you going to derive insights from the data that you have stored right so that is where data science comes inside so that includes first of all descriptive then includes a uh, predictive and then prescriptive right so the de descriptive analytics have to do with deriving insight from that particular data that you have then after you have developed de de derived insight you try to make predictions right that's where you build models to build models that's where machine learning come inside ai nlp computer vision analytics all of them come inside so in that aspect then you move on to the next field of prescriptive so you can predict something now how are you going to influence your decision to prescribe the best solution right so that's where data science comes inside. it's a very broad field and interesting field and there are several languages you can use but the most commonest ones are python very easy to learn julia also very very promising and you have, have the almighty r you have spark you have scala and then there are several programming languages there are plenty you can even use java <laughs> to do data science there are a lot of languages but these are the most commonest one and there's also tensorflow which is a very promising 
library and then framework and then concept that allows you to be able to master data science so now let's move on to the next d of programming which is cyber right that is what most people forget about cyber is also a very very promising field we have cyber defense we have pen testers we have infosec engineers so we have to secure your product secure databases secure your system right so that is where cyber security comes in which is a very interesting field of program very very interesting there are several languages can use can use ruby you can use python you can use c and then they are same and you can even use assembly right <laughs> they are very interesting field and then they also pay very well right it's a nice field that you have to you can also venture then the next field of programming is digital marketing so many people concentrate on the other field for, but forget about digital marketing so you know how to design you know how to develop you know how to do develop data science but how are you going to earn a lot of money right so digital marketing is very very essential you have to know how to market your product you have to know how to sell your product so that is where sales comes inside that's where distribution comes inside that's where publicity comes inside this is a very very essential food so even if you choose only design you have to add digital marketing to it even if you choose only databases you have to add digital marketing how are you going to make sales how are you going to derive benefit how are you going to help a lot of people so it is a very very essential aspect of programming so these are the various d's of programming so design development database devops data science cyber defense or defense the digital marketing i hope you have learned something interesting and in case you want to master data science and programming in general you can also check the links below for some interesting books to enable you to master programming and data science thank you and then please don't forget to subscribe and then don't forget to click the notification button thank you and stay blessed Bye.